Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mr. Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss a question which has been asked in the Net June 2019 exam. This is a question from Mathematical Physics and related to the topic Matrix. But there are two different methods with the help of which we can solve this question. One method is a detailed one, but the another one is a kind of short trick we are having which will help us to get the answer in just few seconds. So I will discuss both the ways here that how can you get the answer for this given question. So I hope that you will like the short trick we are having for solving such kind of questions and any time in the future if you will have such kind of questions in the exam you will easily be able to get the answer for those questions very easily and also in very less time. So keep on watching this video till the end so that you will not miss any of the important points which I am going to discuss in this video. Also guys, if you are new on this channel, you can subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos on this channel. Also, you can like this video if you will like it, you can share it with your friends. And now let's start the discussion about the question which we are going to discuss here in this video. So guys, the question is, the elements of a 3 cross 3 matrix, matrix has been represented with capital A, are the products of its two uh, of its row and column indices. A i j is equal to i j, where i and j can be equal to 1, 2, 3 and just 1, 2, 3 because it is a 3 by 3 matrix. The eigenvalues of A are, we need to find the eigenvalues of matrix A. First of all, we should be able to understand that what has been mentioned in the question. Okay, so for understanding the question, it is very important to read it very carefully and to understand or try to understand each and everything which has been mentioned in the question. Okay, so this should be our first attempt to solve the question like we should try it in this way. So it is the elements of a 3 by 3 matrix A are the products, the elements of this matrix a are the products of its row and column indices and that has been defined as a i j which is going to define the indices will be equal to i into j and where i and j can be equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we need to find the eigenvalues. Okay, so this is the question. First of all, we need to make the matrix which has been defined here and for which the information has been given to us. How can we make that matrix? So, for making that matrix, we need to do one thing. What I have done, firstly, I have mentioned here the rows and the columns. Let's say this is the first row, so I have written here 1. This is the second row, so I have written here 2. This is the third row, so I have written here 3. Okay? After that, if we are going to talk about the column. So, it is first column, I have written here 1. It is the second column, I have written here 2. It is the third column, I have written here 3. So whether we are going to solve it with the help of the short trick or we are going to solve it with the help of the detailed method. In both the cases, we should know about the matrix, that how we will form such kind of matrix. Okay? So this is step for this kind of question will be common. And once I have mentioned the row and the column here, okay, that what is the like sequence, why is the what column is that or what row is that. So it is 1 into 1 is equal to 1. So it is the element I will get here because it has been mentioned that A i j will be equal to i into j. So i let's say it is going to represent the row and it is the column. So 1 into 1, 1. 1 into 2, 2. 1 into 3, 3. 2 into 1, 2. 2 into 2, 4. 2 into 3, 6. 3 into 1, 3. 3 into 2, 6. 3 into 3, 9. So in this way you can form this matrix. Okay? And I hope that each and every point as it has been mentioned in the question will be clear to everyone and how I am going to form the matrix, this will also be clear. Now, to use the short trick, like we should know about the fact. That is, that if in any matrix we are having the rows uh, as a scalar multiple of a particular row and the columns as a scalar multiple of a particular column, in that case, the eigenvalues of that matrix will be equal to the trace of the matrix and the all other eigenvalues will be zero. So just one non-zero eigenvalue will be there. That will be equal to the trace of the matrix. Now, have a look at this given matrix. So, if you will look at the first row, that is 1, 2, 3. If you will multiply that first row with 2, you will get the second row. That 
that is 2, 4 and 6. When you will multiply the first row with 3, you will get the third row. So it is 3, 6 and 9. Okay. Now next thing is when you will multiply the first column with 2, you will get the second column. When you will multiply the first column with 3, you will get the third column. So this is what I was saying. Like it was that a uh, the other rows should be the scalar multiple of one particular row. And the columns should be equal to the scalar multiple of a particular column. So it is going to satisfy that condition. Okay. Hence, we can say that the eigenvalues of this matrix will be equal to the trace of the matrix. And what we mean by trace? Trace is the sum of principal diagonal elements. So if you will uh, look at the principal diagonal. And what is the principal diagonal? That is a diagonal which is going to start from this position. From the very first element of the matrix. So it is from here, this is the principal diagonal we are having. So 1, 4 and 9 are the elements of the principal diagonal. Let's add them together and get the trace. So we'll get 9 plus 4 plus 1 that is 14. So 14 is the trace we are getting. You can see that I have added all the principal diagonal elements here. And I am getting the trace. So the eigenvalues of this particular matrix will be equal to trace comma 0 comma 0. That is 14 comma 0 comma 0 because it was 3 by 3 matrix. So, three, uh, so we have written 3 eigenvalues here. Okay. So it is a rule that whenever you are having a matrix in which the rows and the columns are the scalar multiple of a particular row and a particular column which is this case okay so with the help of this example you can understand the situation very easily so in that case the eigenvalues of that particular matrix will be equal to the trace of the matrix and 0 0 0 like uh, what is the order of the matrix it depends on that that how many zeros you will put there but only one non-zero eigenvalue will be there and that will be equal to the trace of the matrix okay so that's why this is the answer Okay, that is option 3 in this case of our discussion. Now, this was the short trick. Okay, now if we are going to talk about the detailed method, then what is that? So, that is the normal method we are having with the help of the characteristic equation or the eigenvalue equation. We will solve this particular matrix and will find the eigenvalue. So, that will take some time and the eigenvalue equation we are having that is determinant of A minus lambda i is equal to 0. What is A here? This is the matrix which we have formed. This is the matrix A. It was defined there. Okay. Minus lambda. Let's say the eigenvalue. I is the identity matrix in which the principal diagonal elements will be equal to 1 and all other elements will be equal to 0. The order of the identity matrix which you will consider here, that should be equal to the order of this matrix for which you are going to find the eigenvalues. Okay. So that will be 3 by 3 identity matrix. That will lambda. Lambda you will multiply with uh, identity matrix and then uh, subtract that matrix which you will get after multiplying lambda with i from a and when you will mind uh, subtract it from uh, this matrix you will get a new matrix find its determinant and then the equation you will get from that equation find the values of lambda which are going to satisfy that equation so you will get that lambda values you will get from here those values will also be equal to 14 comma 0 comma 0 so that is the correct answer we are having for this question Okay, you can see that this will also take some time when you will solve it with detailed method. You will find the matrix or then you will find its determinant and you will uh, have to solve it. You will have to get the uh, roots or the values of lambda which will satisfy that equation. So, that will take a little bit time. But once you are familiar with the rule, it will be easy for you to write the correct answer just in few seconds. So, guys, I hope that whatever things I have discussed here will be clear to everyone. But still, if you will have any doubt at any point, you can let me know about that. You can comment below this video. I will try to clear your doubt. Okay. And thank you very much for watching this video till the end. Also, if you are new on this channel, then what you need to do, you can subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos I will upload on this channel. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.